I'm out here at the test fire range of Wilson Combat with Jeff O'Neill, which is one of their test fire technicians, and he's gonna take us through the procedure they use to test fire all the Wilson Combat guns. It's the most extensive one I know of in the firearms industry. Jeff, if you would, take us through it. Uh, this is the function test part of the test fire, and uh, we start here with five 10 round magazines. We fire the first two rounds off the top of the magazine, then eject the magazine and fire the last round just to ensure that the uh, weapon is ejecting the rounds properly and not off the top of a bullet that might still be in the magazine. So otherwise known as the extractor tension test, exactly. which is critical on a 1911. Yes. After that, we have uh, two more magazines, one eight round, one 10 round of regular ball ammunition. These are all ball ammunition. And uh, that's a fast fire, uh, just to make sure that it's working with um, the intended 230 grain. And this is, correct me if I'm wrong, Jeff, this is factory ball. This yes, is this is all from the factory, not reloaded. Okay, that, that's critical because, believe it or not, um, if you know what you're doing at home, you can actually build better ammunition than manufacturers do, particularly in feeding in the 1911. Taper crimp is a critical part of that. So shooting factory ball is critical. So you know the, act, the gun you're getting from Wilson will work with the ammunition you buy off the shelf, say at your local retailer. Absolutely. After that, we have five more magazines, each with two rounds of semi-wad cutter, 200 grain. Uh, this is a limp wrist test where we actually fire the weapon with a broken wrist and bent elbow. And uh, these uh, wad cutters are lightly loaded. And this is to ensure that the weapon doesn't short stroke. It's still gonna fire even without uh, proper support behind it. That way we know that uh, you know, someone that uh, might be injured or uh, you know, maybe not as strong as the next person, the gun will still operate. After that, we fire uh, ten, two 10 round magazines of reloaded hollow point ammunition. It's loaded a little bit hotter, and uh, that is just to ensure that uh, it's running on different kinds of ammo. So right here, that's three different kinds of ammunition that we run. So that'd be like considered to be a plus P load, like something that somebody would use in you know a carry gun. Yes. Okay. So total number of rounds that you would take through a Wilson gun? Somewhere between 70 and 80. Okay, and that includes the test fire where you zero it in yes. over on the bench. Okay, now this happens to be my personal super grade gun that I sent back in and uh, I had a few little tweaks done, kind of some upgrades to their one piece magwell and whatnot. Ryan was kind enough to have that done and he is gonna take it through its paces right here for TAC TV. That's it. Good deal, bro. Well done. You tell you've done this a couple times. Yeah. Now, time to take it over and make sure it's sighted in, correct? That's right. Now, this is a gun I sent in, so you know it's pretty much dialed in, but normal gun, or even this one, you would check it again to make sure it's dialed in. Absolutely. All right, if you're ready, we'll head over there. Let's do it. Hey, thanks for watching the Vickers Tactical YouTube channel. To subscribe, click here. 
and to watch some of my favorite videos, click here. Have a good one. LAV out.